is going on everyone it's your guy cole jackson back here on road graders and we are going to be diving in to the acquisition of deontay johnson coming to you today on the russell street report courtesy of dnl tenting go check out dltenting.com for all the services they can provide you located in multiple spots across the baltimore area dltenting.com and i am very excited for this one because i think the ravens just went out there and got statistically one of the best separators in the national football league statistically you have three guys in the top 20 and they are all three ravens now with deontay johnson joining rashad bateman and zay flowers at gaining separation now whether or not the ravens can take advantage of that whether or not the pass protection is going to hold up with three wide receivers that's going to be the key um i'm looking to the o-line here to making um they're going to be the deciding factor and taking a look here at deontay johnson's statistical profile you can see struggled out the gate that's and i'll show you here in a second that's a brace young stat right there but pretty heavily targeted you can see the targets right there uh under with andy dalton at under center and has been very effective you know multiple 75 plus yard games three touchdowns across that span playing on a Carolina offense that quite frankly, isn't that good. You can see right here, the a dot also consistently going up a guy that can get deep, make plays with his route running. And then if you take a look at the season grades and looking at the previous years, obviously we know him well from his time with the Steelers. One of the key things is he's never really had consistently good quarterback play. And now he'll be playing with Lamar Jackson. But one of the big things that I'm focusing on, it's not showing up in the image, but the big concern here are the drop numbers from his previous years. In 2021 alone on 166 targets, he did have 12 drops. He had two charted to him this year. I just went through all of his snaps. I saw about three. So that's going to be one of the big concerns as some of his hands issues, but he also has gotten much better at making contested catches, making tough catches over the middle. A lot of those drops are deep targets where you know, higher difficulty throws. So I think that's one of the key things to take away from that. But you can kind of get the full statistical profile, pause the video if you need to, to look through at all of the uh, kind of data points that you can see. And let's get into it. And, you know, I'm going to start with this just because this matters when we're taking a look at a new player, right? What offense did they come from? What quarterback were they playing with when it's a receiver? And you're going to get plays like this on his tape where, you know, there's Deontay Johnson starting here um, in the slot, I believe. Yeah, in the middle slot on the line of scrimmage and he's going to just beat his guy on a crossing route and you know this is just a speed crosser and he uses a little bit of a pick from the linebacker there and Bryce is just going to miss him right and so it's going to come up a couple times on good plays made by Bryce you're going to get it right here another speed crosser Bryce just missing that throw so these are going to show up on his tape and I always think it's really important to show that right because people are wondering you know where's the production especially early in the year it looked a lot different with Andy Dalton as we're going to see. And so I'm going to focus in three areas in this video. We're going to start looking at his release game, then take a look at his route running, and then some of the tough catches he makes over the medal in contested catch t situations. And so here we're going to focus on this matchup. And this is just straight up a, a, an elite type of release. You're going to get that split up with that left jab foot and this is just his ability to create separation off the hop something that zay and rashad bateman do so well that is just a tough beat right there good contested catch on the slant and you can see you can't see it fully if i go like that when when this bar at the top see this was on you know two to go so they were two to go and they're just going to hit their best receiver with the two yard slant and this is what we need right a guy that can go against you know a press man alignment make a play and just with his route running, his release. And so that's what I want to see. And right here, you're going to see, wow, his ability to work the middle of the field with his release. He actually comes off the ball late. It's like he missed the snap count. And he's just going to double up. So double up, take those two outside left foot steps for him here. Two left steps. It's going to set up. It's going to open the corner to an inside leverage position. And then he's going to break it back inside. So just go slow here. Step, step. There's that double up right there creates that easy separation goes for a run gets that yards after the catch so that ability in his release game to create that immediate separation off the line of scrimmage is going to be absolutely critical when he's playing snaps here for the ravens because you know their ability to take advantage of that especially against zone coverage exploit some of those soft zones that's when this pass offense is humming it's again in those situations and there again just you know split up 
and then his ability just to run these quick slants, work that middle of the field. Easy work there, and just good hands over the middle, strong hands. There's another release into that deep. Yeah, like that. I think we got a good one, folks. I think this is wide receiver, too. See right there, he's just going to basically work a double up against off man. So when they move the receiver in here where he's the most outside, he's got him on him. So he's work, trying to work a double up release where he's releasing and stepping hard with that left foot. And it almost turns into a triple up because he's got that distance to cover to his corner. So as he steps, steps, then he breaks it off right there. Boom. And then that ability to explode that explosive step and Andy Dalton with a nice float pass there. Now we're going to get into some of the route running. Look at that. Oh boy. Look at those hands. Touchdown. And so that's against Cam Taylor Britt, a guy that we're going to see here coming up in a couple Thursdays. And so he's going to attack vertically. That's one thing that he does so well is attack vertically and work into the soft spot of the corner's vision. So you're going to see right here, he's going to work vertically and he's going to basically run. So let's get back actually a little bit. So Cam Taylor Britt's going to open here. Outside leverage, playing that inside move. Deontay is going to attack his back. So he's going to basically work into his blind spot here to force him to move. And as he moves right there, see how he opens his hips and goes inside leverage. Deontay breaks it back across him. That creates the separation. That is just manipulating your defender right there. Boom. That is... That is good route running. That's what we want to see. That's how we gain separation in the National Football League. Um, when things aren't going to get that, you know, there's not going to be that great a separation. So taking advantage of that, that's something that we've seen Zay do so well. Work vertically, work into the blind spots of a corner and start manipulating their movement, manipulating which way their hips are moving so that you can break routes off of that. And here, another nasty one. So outside receiver at the top of your screen here. Let's try and get that away so you can see it. He's going to, again, look how he just pe plays peekaboo. He just works in his blind spot. So he's going to release and work inside. So corner opens with inside leverage facing outwards. Deontay works here in forces him again. Turn those hips, come back in as he does that. He breaks the route off, and that's what creates the separation. So working his route running into the blind spots of the cornerback, taking advantage of the leverage points that they're taking. So letting them make the first move and then breaking routes off of that. Uh, very impressive stuff. Deep route here, deep out, really solid route, nice and tight. This is going to be a nasty one against the Bears that he actually gets missed on. Look at this. Boom. Wide open, overthrow. That's a tough one. Should have put that in the opening. It wasn't price, so it kind of ruined my point, but you guys can see what I mean. So he's going to get off-man coverage here, work up, make those that corner open his hips, start to play into it, break off with that quickness, that agility, and there's that openness. A little bit of pressure in the back. Andy Dalton takes a shot. That's probably why the ball goes high, but still nonetheless. Now we're going to get a look against cover zero. So you can see right here the Falcons dotting the line. They, they got what it looks like, man, could be zone. We'll see here at the snap. But basically, one man against him, he's on the boundary. And he's just going to hit him with a little dipsy-do, a little shaky wake. And right here, boom. Just snap that back inside. Tough catch. Take the shot. Really good work here from Deontay Johnson. And then playing that deep curl right there. Again, pushing vertically into the corner before coming back. Manipulating their hips. So as he's moving this upfield... He's going to take this skip step. So I'm going to go back just a second. Watch his skip step. See that right there? And then as he accelerates off the quick step, that's what forces the corner to start to turn and start to get into more of a run downfield because with that skip step back here, he's basically trying to show that he's going to go deep. And then he comes back, uses his quickness to curl and creates separation to make that off throw too. That, that throw is supposed to go as he curls probably to this back shoulder away from the corner goes over here that's fine he still makes the catch and then taking a look at some of the tough catches he makes over the middle of the field uh taking a look at a couple contested catch opportunities i wouldn't say i'm not going to try and sit here and say he's a high point he's five foot ten smaller guy but he plays tough and he's not going to necessarily get in the end zone and you know high point a goal line fade but he can play tough 
over the middle, make catches, take contact. This is a this is a this is a bunch combo that the Ravens do a lot too. So they'll end up with a bunch here and then motion one outside, create the inner slot guy. And this is what I like to see right here from Deontay Johnson. Right there over that and then make that in contact going out of bounds. So just, you know, really tough work playing in, you know, not necessarily in traffic, but playing against a defender right on his hip out of that bunch. Going to come across the middle of the field right here, catch that, and then spin out of the hit. So again, just tough running over the middle of the field. Really like seeing that out of these players. Their ability right here, work that middle of the field and make that catch fearlessly with a linebacker right there. So this is the area between you know how many times we talked about this in our defensive videos over top of the linebackers head underneath the dbs the third level so he's just going to work that but as you're running this in route or you know this deep deep in deep cross or whatever you want to call it as he starts to break in you're going to take shots from these linebackers and this is where you'll see drop opportunities and right here spillane coming up but he's going to make that tough catch hold on to it really good to see and then just a deep, you know, we've seen this three times now. His just, you know, he's not even doing a route or a release here. He's just sprinting off the line in a short crosser. And so the corner is going to get a little bit on him, but he's going to make that nice little concentration catch in traffic. Guy on his hip gets tripped up a little bit, still makes the catch. Really good stuff here from Deontay Johnson. Coming back over the middle of the field again. Has to get up for that one. So not necessarily a contested catch, but one he has to get up for right there. And then he's going to try and take it for a little bit of yak. Gets tripped there. So really good stuff. Nice contested catch there, holding on to that ball through contact. So that's what I'm seeing from Deontay Johnson. I mean, there's three key things I think he's going to bring to the Baltimore Ravens. I think you're going to get a really good release game, some really strong, strong route running skills, a veteran, a guy that knows the AFC North, knows how to play there, and down to a wide receiver three role. I think if you're in twelve man, you know, twelve personnel, two wide receivers on the field, I think you might actually see quite a bit of Zay and Deontay. So drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this trade. Let me know what you think of the foot or the football. Let me know what you guys think of the film. And obviously, hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new here. And thank you to DNL Tinting for sponsoring this video.